it seems like I keep talking about tube screamers all the time. Several, at least several past videos I've talked about tube screamers and TS 808s and all kinds of 808 tube screamer stuff. So but today what I wanted to show you is the a comparison between the Boss SD1 Super Overdrive and Ibanez TS9 Tube Screamer. Um, but I'm also going to show you something cool at the end that you can do with the SD1. And uh, let's let's jump into some tones real quick, playing through a deluxe reverb on the vibrato channel, so it's, it's a brighter channel. And right now my clean tone is this. <laughs> kick on the tube screamer. Keep in mind these are both set up pretty much the same as close as I could get them to sound like tone control wise because even though they are different circuits I still didn't want to like one be have one be really dark and one be really bright so anyways try to keep it pretty much the same the gains pegged on both of them and uh, here is the tube screamer. <laughs> to the Boss SD-1. Now let's bring the tone controls all the way down on both TS9 first. <laughs> SD1. So obviously we're hearing some differences in tone controls right off the bat. Let's turn them all the way up. TS9 first, this is going to be bright. SD1. Alright, so they both get fairly uh, fairly bright, right? They both sound a little mid-rangey, which through Deluxe Reverb, I kind of dig it. Kind of fattens it up a little bit. Uh, the main difference is, is on the SD1 it has asymmetrical clipping and the TS9 does not. Also there's more ga technical gain on the SD1 uh, even though you're really gonna, not going to clip that much more so it may just make it a little bit noisier. Your mileage may vary. But um, again pretty similar sounds. Circuit wise they're really 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 similar. In fact we can take the SD1 and make it into an 808, a TS-808. Pretty easily, just by, just by, uh, easily by changing some parts, just to buy some parts from like Mauser or Small Bear, or something like that. And we can change the parts, and uh, you know, for a couple bucks, we can get a, basically an 808 out of an SD-1, which is a fun little thing to do if you like to tinker with things. So I will show you the schematic real quick, and uh, show you what to change if you guys wanna do it, and, um, See what you think. Let me know in the comments below if you dig that sort of thing or if you've done it yourself. And uh, here we go. Let's go check out a, the schematic and dive into the detail. Okay, so as I was saying, the TS9, TS808, and the SD1 all have a very, very, very similar topology. So basically, even though they aren't exact clones and they don't sound like each other, 
the skeleton of the circuit pretty much is exactly the same, minus some plus some parts. But basically, we just change some parts and we have a $50, oh, in American dollars, a $50 uh, TSA 808. So let's look at the schematics real quick. Here's our TS-808 original schematic, apparently. Um, so I'll go through the circuit real quick. Here's your input. So your guitar signal goes through here, goes through that cap, goes through that resistor, hits this transistor here, which is a buffer, goes out of here into that cap, into this op amp stage. There's your clipping diodes right there. There's your gain control there. Goes out into a low pass filter, which takes off a bunch of highs. Uh, then goes into the tone control, which acts as a both a low pass filter when it's turned one way and a high pass filter when it's turned the other way. Uh, I'm sorry, not a high pass filter, but rather it's actually boosting the highs uh, when you turn when, it, when you turn it the other way. Here's your uh, here's your tone control right here for this stage. It comes out of that op amp stage there into the level control. Um, goes through here, this is just part of the electronic switching. Goes through a capacitor, goes through another resistor, and exits. And of course, um, if you have a bypass, it's going through this buffer stage, and then comes out here, goes out through here, and then comes to right there, and goes through another buffer when it is bypassed. So, if we look at the SD1, same deal. A couple uh, resistor capacitor, a buffer, into the op amp gain stage with diodes into, we've got the low pass filter there, same tone control, minus the values, and into the volume, out into another buffer, and then out. It sounds like there's a lot of things to change. I'm looking at the list here. There's quite a bit of parts because the part values um, are not exactly alike at all, but that's okay because we can go to mouser.com or one of my favorites, Small Bear, which is, uh, just type in Small Bear Electronics in Google, you'll get there. And um, we can buy all these parts, just, you know, handful of resistors, handful of caps, under $10, I would guess. Um, and we're changing two pots as well. So you gotta do some soldering, you gotta know how to do some soldering to do this. I would call this probably not your basic DIY mod, even though it is fairly basic and technical, you know, technical skills, like we're not radically changing the circuit, we're just swapping components. If you aren't used to soldering a bunch, then uh, it can get a little hairy. So, I am going to put on the screen here the parts to change, okay? What we want to change is R1 changes to a 1K, C1 changes to a 0 0.022 microfarad, R2 changes to a 510K, now you're not going to notice a big difference there, so I probably wouldn't even mess with it. C2 goes to uh, 1 UF, 1 microfarad rather. Uh, R4 goes to a 10K. R5 is a 51K. And then uh, we're gonna change that gain pot to a 500K um, audio taper. We're gonna uh, just jumper D6. Now, diodes. Uh, I think the original 808 used 1S1588 diodes. They're hard to find. I don't know if Small Bear carries them or not. You may be able to find them on a DIY site somewhere, maybe eBay, though that could be a little sketchy. Um, some people also use MA150 diodes. Me personally, probably would just keep the 4148s and call it a day. You're not gonna hear, well, you may hear a little bit of difference, but it's not a big, huge, dramatic difference. Uh, R7 goes to a 1K, C4, 0.22 microfarad. Remove C6 totally. R9 changed to a 1K, C5 .2, changed to a 0.22 microfarad, R8 changed to a 220 ohm resistor, R10 changed to a 1K. Of the volume pot, we're going to change to a 100K linear taper. C8, we're going to change to a 0.1 microfarad. R, now, these, here's your 808 mod. R16 is a 100 ohm. Uh, resistor. R17 is a 10K resistor. Uh, I believe the op amp in the SD1 already has a 4558. If not, get you a JRC 4558 of some sort. They're all going to be pretty much similar, even though I'm sure there's people that totally disagree because they're radically different. But for the most part, it's just 
stick with the forty five fifty eight if you could find you know you'll find one they're thirty cents a piece or something. Uh, don't pay twenty bucks or anything ridiculous on eBay for an original forty five fifty eight. Don't do it. I mean, you can if you want, if you want to throw some money away. So those are the changes that I would make to turn the Boss SD1 into a TS-808 uh, pedal. I mean, obviously it's not going to be an actual tube screamer, but it's going to be component-wise and uh, schematically pretty much a dead-on 808. So if you got an SD1 laying around, like I got two or three laying around just from years past and accumulating them and liking, I like to modify stuff. Um, and you could probably, you probably can get a used one for like 20 bucks or something on Reverb or eBay. So it's a, it's a cool little deal. If you like messing with stuff, give it a try. And if you like these type of videos, uh, make sure you comment. Well, actually first, make sure you subscribe if you like these kind of videos. And I would love to hear your comments as well on what you think about this modification. Or even if there's other modifications that you prefer or maybe there's a, a different type of 808 mod that you've seen that uh, you feel is better. Uh, feel free to comment below and we'll talk to you guys in a couple days. Thanks for watching. See ya.